What's up, folks? This is Top Love Bunny, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Clive Barker's Undying. Yeah, uh, I just fell down the cistern again because I was, you know, I didn't know I was that close to the edge, but yeah, the, I think in the last upload I was, like, wondering whether I could um, enter this grate, but it's not that one, it's another one. So, I uh, guess there's skellies ahead, so I might as well equip that. Because kill it, you can kill skellies with the scythe, I think. And that door opens up again. You can kill him with the scythe. Did they come from over here? Did that door open up? Did that do anything? Oh, that's that lever that... It's that lever that doesn't do shit. Yeah, I think you can kill him with the sight, but it's kind of an unnecessary risk because even though you can uh, you can leech life with the scythe, you can't leech it from skeletons, I think. It has to be a live thing. Let's throw some explo- like, you might be given thinking like, oh, I have to blow this up for some reason because they give you dynamite, but not really. Anyway, I could give it a go. I mean... Where else am I gonna, am I gonna use dynamite? Oh! I did blow that up, so there's no way back now. This is blow upable. Why? I have no idea. I don't think you really have to do that. Yeah, I think you have to do that because if you... You have to fill up this cistern. And then you have to jump into the cistern as it breaks. The water will break your fall. And if you don't... Like, it's kind of hard to hit the water if you don't blow up uh, the bridge. You tend to jump to the side and you tend to hit this the rock or the, the the floor there. But other than that, I don't really know why I blew... I just blew that up. Because I could... Because I can. Yeah? Skellies? Where? Ow. Ow. And then we fill up the cistern, so... I should have... Probably rushed... Leave me alone! Stop throwing things at me. There. So... Yeah, I have to go down there, I'm gonna quick save. I, maybe I can climb in, but I doubt it. I think it's a... Oh, I can get in. That was easier than I thought. Because I remember it being very hard to get in here. And what I think they want you to do is to... Before you lower the water level, you're supposed to swim in here and... Or not. Maybe I'm just... And it's uh, somehow the whorl and apparently what appears to be a book. I have survived here in this water for several... For m or maybe over a thousand years, and, and it, it's still intact. Yeah. Because magic. And that really replenished my... Will replenish my uh, magicka or my mana. The game was really glitching out there. It's possibly because the lowering of the water level... If that water level lowers at all, because I think... Uh, the lowering of the water level wasn't done very well. <laughs> I think this is also... No. No, I swam. I swam underwater in this game before. I think, and you know, let's read them. Dear mother, I've almost completed my internment on the island here on the island. Internment basically means he joins a convent. Uh, I've spent the bulk of the time making sure that the water supply to the monastery is properly proper. Uh, monastery proper is sufficient. It gets cold and lonely down here in the huge chambers that contain the water storage cisterns. But I warm my heart with thoughts of you and Papa back at home. Pray for me that I might be allowed to remain here with the abbot, who has shown me salvation. <sighs> but also pray for me. Also pray for some much-needed rain, for our supplies of drinking water are uh, run short. Wait, you're in Ireland, and you're praying for rain. You're tr yours truly, Brother Nathaniel. They must have had a bit of a dry spell back then because Ireland is kind of, Ireland is kind of rainy there. I mean, 
Why on earth would you need cisterns this... That, that actually p brings me to a point. Why on earth would you need cisterns this big in Ireland? Is that because it's an island and, and you have, like, some sort of a lack of, of, of sweet water or potable water? But who built this thing? Were they giving sponge baths to the, uh... Uh, to the, uh, the deep ones here? What is that? Although deep ones would reside in, in, uh, salt, salty water or brine. But anyway, did monks build this? I mean, you'd need, like, uh, an entire Roman legion to build this. Like, well, not a legion, they would build a fort. They wouldn't be, they wouldn't be into this kind of masonry. <sighs> okay, magic. What the hell is that thing, anyway? What the hell is that? Is that some sort of a oh, really oversized candelabra? Or part of a mechanism? There appears to be some kind of a mechanism of like it, it could rotate or turn something. Is this, is this a giant meat grinder or a blender where they made super sized margaritas for, I don't know, Dagon? Or the Avank? Or the Avank, I don't know how you pronounce it. That's also a deep sea monster or a monster. No, I think the Avank is, judging by the name, is a Welsh uh, creature. And it d dwells, it rather dwells in a lake rather than in uh, the ocean. Geronimo! I, there's nothing down here, it seems. Other than the the bridge that I uh, gotta get out of this water, yeah, the the lowering and raising of water levels. If you swim in that water, that I think gets kind of glitchy because I, either they probably didn't really know how to do that or something. Because I don't remember that being being it being that finicky in other Unreal games. It is a bit finicky in, in the first Unreal game uh, engine games Stop. based on the Unreal Engine. Okay, I'm gonna check my list again. I got the Whorl. And... Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, I haven't heard any, uh... Any amplifier no noises, maybe... Oh, there's a part of the mechanism down here. Let me get a better look at the whole thing from down here. What the hell is this thing? There's two of them. I hadn't noticed the second one. Well, th those monks sure were good architects for being monks. They did more than transcribing. Hang on. Is oh, it's a load screen. Well, that was a... Definitely a... Can I go back? Jammed. Uh, hang on. Uh, I'll check ahead if I can. If if I can't find a stone, but at this point I don't really need it. And I, no, I'm gonna go back. Uh, so I'll have to do that whole thing over again. See, because it quick saves here, and then. Okay, I'll do this quick, this time around. I'll, I'll try and not blow up the bridge this time around. Oh, there you are. Ow, you son bitch! You know, here's a good opportunity to, tr to try out my theory, if I can swim down here to get th to this. And he applies the whirl, because I remember having trouble getting in here once the, the water level has dropped. 
and that wasn't the case. Well, maybe there's a reason why I'm playing this again. Because I'm anal retentive. But you can keep the skellies either from getting af coming after you by closing the door. These things are gonna kill me. Yeah, I guess you can keep those skellies from coming after you by blowing up the bridge, but then they will pretty much sit at the other end of the, the bridgehead thing, and they will throw rocks at you, which is painful. And you can't really destroy them, and they'll just keep on throwing rocks at you. Why do you have to blow up this bridge? I can perfectly jump into this water without taking damage, or falling onto the stone. Oh, but... Why are you so... Why are you so dang... Uh... Jammed. You sure there's nothing here? Jammed. Okay, I'll make a hard save here. Because I call it a hard save. I don't care what it's called in, in real life. Is there a lever that needs pulling? Oh wait, you have to go down. I, hang on, I think I got it's it's all coming back to me now. Doesn't matter. Okay, you better break out the site. The site. And yeah, that'll do. There's a dead Tersanti. Ooh, a Molotov cocktail. Are you guys coming in? No, it just closes permanently. And then there's a spiral stair down. That guy was really unfortunate. Got impaled by a portcullis! Portcullis. Portcullis, man! That's nothing. There's Lisbeth. And that door just opened up. Ah, oh, I get it. Uh, there is a trigger area for that portcullis. I'm gonna say portcullis a lot because I like saying portcullis. Yeah, uh, well, I turned on leech, and it does leech a little bit of health. As long as you stand in the blood, I think. You have to be in, in the blood pile, or it drains the blood. Okay. Nope. So I hope there's nothing back there, because I can't hear the humming. It should be... <sighs> I'm going to have to try that again. Uh -huh. you, I think you only have, like, one chance to... Ooh. You only have, like, one chance to get into that area that where those two howlers came out. That's how finicky this game is. Like, that, that's really... No, no game, no. You don't want to develop a game like that. That's really... Na that's like really, really... Uh, how did, yeah, um... Yeah, he got... He got killed by the portcullis. It should... Yeah... Yeah, there, there's the trigger. It's like one of those things you have to know. The uh, howlers are entities too that can, or in the game, in-game entities too that can trigger the the portcullis, so that you can access this area. Let's see if there's anything else in here. Yeah, yeah it's just a dead Tersanti on a met pack. And this is one of those things that you have to know. And that's a dick. That's the word that I was looking for. That's a really dick thing to do, game. You have to get in that area when, as soon as the howlers trigger the the portcullis, otherwise you don't get the amplifier stone. And this is getting gonna get a little bit labyrinthine. And they just keep on giving me Molotov cocktails. Lisbeth? Can you not see you your quest is in vain? Kinda cool that they did have lip syncing or some form of lip syncing. Come on. It's just a 
they jump in a straight line, of course, when you initiate a jump, you can not really... Well, depending if you're a cat, maybe. You cannot change your trajectory, but... So that's why I'm always, like, side, uh, circle strafing when... when uh, I gotta stand on this one that triggers the stairwell. Damn it! Where's my sight? Oh, oh. Oh, I'm looking up. Where did my sight go? Oh! You cannot wield the sight when you're replenishing health. That's it, right? You're welcome. If you happen to be hearing bells, I don't know if my microphone's picking that up, that's basically a church bell, because I live under a church bell tower, or a bell tower. Right underneath it. Well, I'm not the only one, there's a whole bunch of people, actually. <laughs> Did I just miss... No, I didn't miss anything back there. Okay, are we just gonna... S like, this... Like, if they wouldn't open these gates right now... You know, this, this would be a good way to kill Patrick. Just do not open these portcullises. I would simply starve or... Um... Whoops. You know, I would simply starve or basically die of dehydrate uh, dehydration down here. I could drink my own urine for a while, but that would be it. Oh, come on, I didn't get through there? I think the idea behind that one was they keep... Oh, that was a close one. I mean, a distant one. It has quite some reach to it. Uh, they keep on throwing in uh, howlers until you figure out that you they trigger the doors or the portcullis. Portcullis, man. Just call it a portcullis. I think I know the title of this episode. It's door. And uh, I can't really trigger it. Only they can trigger it, because otherwise I'd be able to double back. I gotta check my ammo. Dynamite. Phosphor shells. I don't really have to ready the weapon. Come on. Shotgun ammo. Phosphor Bullet ammo. 42 silver bullets. Righty dokey. Yeah. I don't know what that is. It looks like the side of an illustration of a, a, an illuminated handwriting, but only this time it's a decal on a door. More Lisbeth. Creepy violin. Let's see how strong you really are. Come to me, Irishman. Why does she insist on calling me an Irishman? Because, like, technically I am in Ireland. I thought the Covenant family... Maybe the Covenant family was not Irish. Are you pushing me with your yells? Yeah, she... Maybe, like... The uh, Covenants are basically English or British people that were, uh, like, nobility that settled in Ireland during... When Ireland was still part of the uh, British crown. Well, part of it still is, of course, in the north. But we're not gonna go into the Irish independence stuff. Uh, I'm gonna fall down here, am I? There's no time to react. Actually... 
Those two howlers made it down here somehow. And I get skellies. Oh no you don't, buddy. More howlers? I gotta get my sight back. Come on, replenish my hell here. And uh, weird singing that you hear is not Marge Simpson with a, a bad cold, it's Elizabeth's mother. If only I could get out of here. Okay, the reason why I just suddenly went really quiet is because... Am I hearing things or... Oh, so are boats. I thought I was hearing something out, like, in the real world where I am right now. <laughs> but it I think it's an in-game... That's not me. An in-game noise that I'm hearing. Uh, the singing gets louder. And then we're gonna go into a boss fight. And again, I don't really know... Never really... This is a weird boss fight. You have to kill off... Every Covenant sibling has to be killed off with the sight. Okay, that... that. Uh, more of these things. I need the Gelzabar stone, bitte. Seriously? Then, for some reason, I don't have to do... Can I get back there? Is there a secret here? No, just more howlers. Yeah, nice one. I, I got hit again. And it's all your fault. Okay, I should have my medkits ready when I go into that area. Are you guys dead now? Okay, let's go back here, and this time with my health ready. Let's see if there's anything pick upable. Oh, a Molotov cocktail. What? Just what I need. One blow. You guys are gonna keep coming here, aren't you? That's why the place is literally. With oh, there's something there. No, it's just. Oh, it's bullets. And then there's a skelly that got up. Okay, that's it. I'm getting out of here. Ah. <sighs> Let's save again. What is that strange singing? You only just heard that now? You should see an ear doctor there, Patrick. I gotta admit, this is kind of creepy. This is the kind of stuff that creeps me out. What have you done? You will pay for touching mother. Lisbon, you have no idea what you've turned into. Why are you haunting your family so? I know what I am. I seek vengeance. Is cheated by Jeremiah, and he will die to finish what was begun. You have awoken the past, but you don't know how to stop it. No. Uh -huh. Rend your bones and serve you to my Now, this is where the game gets kind of weird because I don't really know how to do that. I have to take care of the skellies first. Which means I'll just ready the gels of Austin. The weird thing is, oh yeah, that tension music, it's kind of stock tension music. Uh, I think the guys of Nocturne, uh, Terminal Reality, are use it as well in Nocturne, yeah. Hey, that one still had a bit of a monkhood left on him. 
Uh, that doesn't do anything. Okay, so what? Apparently, what Lisbeth did is that Lisbeth or a skeleton attacking me. She basically dug up the body of her mother that died birthing her, and then resurrected it so it could sing creepy lullabies at her. Okay, so now I need... I'm gonna try it with regular ammo. Whoa, that was close. The thing is, when she starts glowing, I think she's invulnerable. But a brief moment after the glow disappears, she starts to, uh... uh what do you call it? She, uh... Briefly loses conscience, so to speak, and then you can behead her with the sight. Uh, this is taking too long. I'm switching to silver bullets, because the silver bullets do more damage to... Oh, dear. Damn it. Ah, 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 ah. As we all know, silver bullets do more damage to supernatural entities, such as... There, now she's slightly unpleasant. At the moment, but the second the glow disappears, I, I think she's invulnerable as well. No. Nope. Yeah, she appears to be invulnerable. There, quickly. No. Nope. Oh crud! I botched that. Losing, yeah, she wasn't. How many do I have left? Oh, yeah, I like rounded up quite a bunch of them. Ow, ow, crazy person, lady, person. What did you say there? Leave me now. The music is really loud. I'm running out of regular bullets. How the heck am I supposed to... Okay, I pissed her off again. No, 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 I need my... <laughs> There. Sadly enough, I had to decapitate her in the in the shadows because, well, it's not really well for, for dramatic effect. I would have rather done it in a brighter area, but I was basically hanging on for dear life at that point. <laughs> and even this is not even nightmare mode. I shouldn't even try this on nightmare mode. And there's another amplifier. Let's look, have a look outside. Let's get stuck. I think we'll pass by here anyway. And then I have to pick up a another new Oh, there's a tome here. Someone must stop them. Punctuation. At first I thought these rituals were but an extension of our fate, a show of glory to our maker. I thought maker had to be with a capital if you're referring uh, but to hear that a fair to hear that fair maiden screaming for mercy, this cannot be what he would want of his followers. I fear that some of the brothers have taken a disliking to me, as eyes are averted, and silence falls when I enter a room. How could the abbot allow this to happen? 
Uh, how could the abbot allow this to continue uncontested? Does he even know? So much troubles me. Yet I fear if I attempt to return to the monastery to consult him, I might be the next one these madmen send on the journey to the hereafter. Ever faithful to the order, Brother Lawrenson. Lawrenson. Lord, that's not probably what I mean. That does, no, that's Brother Natalian was uh, the guy who built the cistern single-handedly all by himself. For, for who knows what reason, what they need that water for, I don't know. I'm gonna be sucked in a big black hole and I... No, no, let's not, let's not go there. And then the altar raised and I have the haste spell. Oh! Eveline's walking again. It's good, to, it's good to get back on your feet, isn't it? Duh. I'm gonna dig up my dead monitor and I'm gonna resurrect her so she can sing to me. Oops. You did trip there? A spell with a superb effect. When used, it gives me a limited burst of speed and agility, like a big cat racing along the Serengeti. Or a small cat chasing after a mouse because those things are pretty fast too. Well, not not well, yeah. I imagine that uh, I think it's a cheetah is one of the fastest land animals at this point. I have found that the spell may prove critical to overcoming obstacles or retreating from my foes. So it's basically the super back pedal, or oh no, there's a chasm and I have to jump it spell. Eh, uh, don't crash. Early hair physics. Yes. My pets to him I call you. Break his bones and claw his eyes clean. How dare you? I will gnash your heart between my teeth and drink deeply. That ritual will be complete. The king will arise and the very world will tremble. I <laughs> you were saying. First of all, Patrick, I would not keep that uh, woman's head so close to my groin. And secondly, what the hell were you walk? You were like, were you in the Ministry of Silly Walks, or wh wh what was that? That was a really funny walk. Let's see if there's anything. I can't go back. The door's closed. Okay. <laughs> the music. I didn't come back this time. That seems like a long way down. Anyway, I have to ready that spell. Oops, wrong wheel. Oh, that looks like haste because it has an arrow at the end of it. Uh. Well, yoink! Uh, I should have saved first. I'll wait for it to wear off. This is one of the things that makes your toes curl. I mean, like, because I like when, when it comes to Ireland, I kind of know what the real thing looks like, and it really makes your toe cur toes curl when you stand on the edge here. <gasps> eh. <sighs> now let's check that. Oh, howler. Three blows to take that one down. Uh, killer bats. Yeah, these things really have it in for me. Seriously, I'm gonna get killed by a bath. Oh, 
I will drink your blood. Well, even if it's just a few drops. I think we're gonna hit a load screen again. Yeah. Can't believe I made it out of there. Better head back to the mainland. I'm back on the boat. I think that boat is a Kara, which is technically like it's an island. You don't have a lot of wood in some regions, at least, or in general, you don't really have a lot of wood. Or in areas where you don't have a lot of wood, they would basically, uh, I do say basically a lot, build a boat. They would build a wooden frame, and then they would put animal like no, it's tarp or animal hides or tarp on the wooden frame, like tarp, which is impregnated with. Uh, something and that would make uh, a floaty boat uh, without it's like I think it's similar to a canoe uh, And if I remember correctly, it's called a car Won't budge won't budge <laughs> Enemies out here anywhere yeah What's that? Ominous hum. Stuck. Ominous hum is ominous. <gasps> then the gate is stuck. The little shrubs are basically made out of solid wood. Ooh. Something was watching me. What? Outside, in the shrubbery. All I know the is shrubbery? Jeremiah isn't paying me enough for this. I'm leaving. Which is weird. This is the exact same area where, yeah, this guy's uh, brother and son at the same time, probably, uh, was attacked by a howler, which I had a hard time killing. And the payback for saving the guy's life was, of course, silver bullets, which I had just wasted on uh, the, the howler in an attempt to save the uh, servant. Wish they had given me some silver bullets because I wasted all of my silver bullets on uh, on Lisbeth. Uh, anyway, what we're gonna be needing now is shotgun. Incendiary. We only have twenty shells. I might as well might have a good use for the the Molotov cocktail at this point. Oh. Uh, there's some. I think I don't know if your the tower appears to be kind of on in, like it's a, it's not green fire like in Big Trouble in Little China, but it's like um, a really pinkish type of hue and it looks ominous. Did I say that it looked ominous already? Well, let's look alive, he's here. Look alive, he's here. He, you on fire now? Yeah, yeah, that'll do the trick. I'm gonna get killed if I... Yep, I'm dead. Make up your mind. You're not even worth the effort. That was a lot of effort you put into finishing me off there. You see what happens, folks, if you try to attack anything with a flamethrower? It doesn't work. Uh, with, with the Molotov cocktails. I think if it's maybe a static enemy, like a positional enemy, like uh, something that just sits there and shoots at you, which we'll soon see see, see, soon, see, see soon enough, just stay away from the Molotov cocktails. It's bad. It's, it's just alcohol and Molotov. Something Any type of cocktail is bad for your what? health. Outside, in the shrubbery. All I know is Jeremiah isn't paying me enough for this. I'm leaving. Yeah, just leave in that general direction so that Tersanti can kill you off. As I was saying, cocktails, stay away from them when you're in a... In, don't drink and go and get into... Well, that's what mostly people do. They get drunk and then they get into fights. But try not to get uh, drunk uh, and then get involved in a gunfight. Although sometimes that's how most gunfights uh, begin. I'm so drunk I could shoot somebody right now. And don't drink and shoot guns. That may be, yeah. Yeah, I think they shot the peasant. Uh, the servant. 
not so tough now, are you? Oh, 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 oh! That is one dead peasant. And he dropped the key. So, he dropped the kitchen key. He ran away from me, got shot. And instead of giving me the key, because I imagine that prior to him dropping dead and dropping the key, I wouldn't be able to get back into the manor. Or the mansion. Or Gormengast. My Santi brothers, the stranger must be stopped. But I should do this in the voice of uh, Clive Barker himself. Though he really should get that checked because I think he needs to get it like like he had like had his vocal cords scraped that one like he should get them scraped should have gotten them scraped at that point when he did the recording we, because he does the voice of Ambrose and it really he should like I mean, you should get that looked at because I think you need your vocal cords scraped when you sound your you can, when your your voice sta starts sounding that way uh, the stranger must be stopped he has skill remember the advice from ma the master in the east hence that general is skillful in attack whose opponent does not know what to defend. Hence that general is skillful, know what to defend. And he's skillful, and he is skillful in defense, whose opponent does not know what to attack. When the stranger is dead, return to me in the pirate's cove. The pirate's cove. Our cove. No, no, eh, never mind. Anyway, we're going down to the greenhouse. Which, surprisingly, there's no gate left here anymore. Where'd the gate go? Oh, there it is. Consistency and details. You know the devil is in the details. Uh, oh. Anyone attacking me? Oh, crud. I'm gonna have to go down there, am I? I don't know, there's no bread meter, or uh... I'm probably gonna start taking damage by the time I get back up. There you go! I gotta check my list again. Huh. Oh, uh, that's weird. Apparently there's a bug in the previous area. There's the one chest. Normally it should hold two amplifiers. Okay. There's another one in the kitchen. I don't really need amplifier spells at this point. If, if I mentioned that already. Everything's... Everything that I've got is maxed out as much as I would want it. Well, at this point I didn't waste my uh, molos, so... I think there's gonna be a cutscene here. I can What's only walk in straight lines. The old greenhouse, you mean? No one's been in there for ages. When Bethany was young, she used to be quite the gardener. Thank you. Yeah. I don't know what that was supposed to be. I know what that is, but I don't really know whether plants are supposed to make that noise. Hang on. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna load up my shotgun with these. Only I, I only have like how many do I have? Twenty. I'm gonna switch to Molotov cocktail. There. That's like a positional enemy. And there's phosphorus shells on the floor here. But of course I didn't notice that because I'm at 
maximum capacity. Maximum capacity! Which is a holiday. Simpson reference. Yeah, that did nothing. Why is there a tentacle coming out of the floor every- Oh yeah! That's the way they get you. They, sh they basically shoot tentacles under the ground, and once they hit a fatal blow, you get a real cool kill animation. See? Oh yeah, and of course if the the progenitor of the tentacle, uh, or the vine, it's not a tentacle, uh, dies, it drops dead and fades away. That's my last Molotov. And there's a mono well here. Of course now I can can no longer quick switch between... No, I'll do this. There. But once your weapon is depleted, it defaults back to the pistol, apparently. I should have used phosphorus shells. Okay, mana increased. Is there a point for me to go back there? I need a key, perhaps. Running all the way. I should have used haste. Yeah, I guess if I was playing this in hard difficulty, I would have... Uh, needed, needed, would have used haste to get there before it can get to me. It's just a note. I finally did it. I silenced Aaron. He will no longer belittle me or interfere with my research. This release, this has released a great weight from my mind and allows me to pursue my studies in the silence of our ancestral home. As a memento, I have taken my dear, dear brother's jaw. That source of constant ridicule will never taunt me. His sway over me is broken. Unfortunately, I do not think he felt a thing. The fool was so deep in his stupor, he no doubt thought it me a dream. <laughs> the guy was totally hopped up on goofballs. Or I don't really know what goofball. I don't even know what goofballs are. It's just something that I picked up from a stand-up comedian. Uh, he, he was so... Yeah, I guess he was so... He'd been drinking uh, absinthe and laudanum. Laudanum. Uh, like... Uh, he was sponging up uh, opiate, opiate tinctures. Like he was so drugged up. She killed him in his... Uh, trance like uh, uh, inebri inebriated intoxicated state it would seem that I am the last of the covenants since Aaron no longer troubles me or himself for that matter I find myself alone Jeremiah has not been heard of since he left for the war it's better this way I will now be able to complete what was started so many years ago on the isle it took well over 20 years for us to accept what he we had done I will be the one to finish the task and accept the legacy of this family. Legacy of this family. Yeah, Bethany. Uh -huh. Is that plant farting? Oh, they respawn. As soon as you go... Tentacle attack. I hope I don't take any fire damage from that if I... F fire it too close to the... Uh, target. This is one of those things I'm not very familiar with because I don't think I've mentioned that before. I've only f I've only finished this game maybe once or twice on easy difficulty, so I don't know how important haste is at this point when you're dealing with an opponent like this one. It just sort of whips you. Whip it good. Yeah, whip it, boy. Wait, what, what? Ah. Isn't that Mercurius? I think I thought it was another guy. I think that's Mercurius because it's quick. He was quick. He was the messenger of the gods in Mercur Mercury. Mercury is called, or Quicksilver is called Mercury because it kind of like shoots away, or shoots off in beads and uh, like that.
Because I think I called it Nike before, and because of the shoes or something, and then I was not really thinking very well. Oh. Is that the... Oh, you're just tapping your feet. That's a nice little touch. There. You think there's uh, enemies running around, and you, but because you hear footfalls, and it's just the uh, the maid tapping her feet, and because she's, she's kind of getting bored. Why don't you go home and... Uh, seek other employment, if any, in at this point in Ireland, being financially not that well off, or economically, and maybe they have em employment problems and they struggle for independence <gasps> and too busy uh, conspiring against the British and then conspiring against themselves. There's, well, there's always a traitor amongst them when they're conspiring against the British, I guess. There's always an informer. Yeah, that's one of the things they used to say. Hey, do -de -do -de -de -do. <gasps> Is that a water basin? No, it's just a flower bed. And the Tersanti ammo is still here. Oh, oh. Yeah, as you can tell, like, it's, it's going a bit slower. Yeah. <gasps> See, the reason why you put, uh, ponds or little, uh, shallow ends of water here, because it reflects the sky and it gives a really cool landscaping effect. But in this case, it doesn't really, it kind of reflects the sky, but anyway, uh -huh. back to the kitchen, where you belong, boy, kitchen boy. Well, this is, like, I think that's another quote from Gormenghost. Ah, it's good to be back. There's supposedly an amplifier here. I'm gonna not hurt you. Right. Oh, how howlers again? I should have readied the sight, but not. Nah, I don't really want to ready the site, or basically hotkey the site. <laughs> Warning, children at play. Nah, oh, they're throwing knives at me. What the hell is wrong with these kids today? There's an amplifier noise. Is that an amplifier noise? I'm gonna check my list. There's supposedly one in the kitchen. That's why you'll always find me in the kitchen at parties. Dumb waiter's book. Ah, they're throwing plates at me. What the hell? This is not funny, kid. You? Yeah. Okay, let's save, and if something goes wrong, I can come back here. Because I gotta catch them all. Let's go upstairs. It's a load screen. So if can't go back. Okay. That's another dumbwaiter station. Or... A This is why this game has you so afraid of crossing thresholds.
Need a key. Oh, I can go back into the kitchen. It says here on the list... The Manor North Wing Lower Kitchen in the dining room with the fireplace on the table. I should be able to spot it then. Ow, 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 ow. I don't see a... <gasps> Is it in the fireplace? Well, if it's here, I'm exhausting all the possibilities and options. There it is again. Oh, they're going to start throwing plates at me again. Oh. I've seen strange men prowling the grounds. I don't know where they're coming from. Didn't they just kill you? Yeah, well... It's been too long, I don't remember. Uh, let's go through that door and hope it doesn't. No, wait, I gotta go upstairs first. Oh, there it is. They're gonna start throwing shit at me, eh? Again. The knives are... Uh, you see, I can't walk through the knives. They are basically, well... Entities that block me or whatever. Let's get the hell out of here. Ow. Okay, now I'm gonna try and go upstairs and see if I get stuck there. This is the servant. I think this is the servant area again. Stuck. Stuck. Except this time, there's only one door that opens, and <laughs> yeah, if these are servants' quarters, they have a lot of room. I guess that Stuck. lady was a bit sad. About something. Well, being attacked by by howlers all the time kind of does that to a person. <sighs> what the hell is this? Oh, you scared me. I didn't think I'd run into anyone at this hour. Likewise. So tell me, what do you know of Ambrose? Ambrose is the family secret they like to keep quiet. Hmm? What do you mean? Well, no one has ever directly told me, but everyone on staff knows that Ambrose killed his father. It's one of those family secrets they don't like to talk about. He killed Joseph? Yes. Seven years ago, in the game room. Even the authorities in town knew about the killing, but were slow to act upon it, since Ambrose was such a hellion. Throughout the county, Ambrose was known for his viciousness. Only a fool chose to stand in his way. He was one crazy bastard. 
Hey, look, there's that candelabra that smashed the table in the, I think it was the first upload episode. Gotta check all the doors. Jammed. Jam? Locked. Yeah. The window, the widow's watch key. Bas yeah, I think you can go straight through the garden, but this is like... I take it they never caught him. He emerged after months of hiding to claim his inheritance. He barged into the manor and proceeded to take whatever he wanted. By the time the constables could arrive, Ambrose had fled the scene. They gave chase, but he escaped their pursuit by leaping off a cliff. A cliff? Never hesitated for a moment. Everyone thought him to be dead. Except... Except what? We'd hear stories of Ambrose sightings for years. In the States, the Orient, even in Prussia. We really didn't believe he was still alive. Until he came back and brought those heathens with him. The prodigal son returns. In so many words. I do hope I've helped you. You have indeed. Thanks. This is like the this. Whoa! He disappeared there for a second. This is like the 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 story route. This is <laughs> yeah. This is the storytelling route of the game. I think you can just skip this and go straight to the garden. But I think then you're gonna miss out on a bunch of things like Molotov cocktails in a bar. Let's get hammered. Oh, I'll have to jump on one of those stools. It's a nice bar you got here. It's the, except that this is like Moe's bar. The the bottles are just basically painted on or, you know. Uh, so many doors to choose from. So little time to do it. I think that's uh, David and Goliath. Or, or David holding Goliath's head. Is that work? It looks Italian, but I don't know who painted that. What the hell is this? Another load screen? Where am I going? Oh, I'm back here? And all of a sudden... The manor becomes more and more interactive. You can go places and explore them again. Won't budge. But that door is closed for some reason. Again, Keisinger's roof room was up here. Stuck. But we've been there, so it's locked. Stuck. This is not a Toro run, as you can imagine, because I can barely remember any of this. Ah, oh, not these things again. What? You're not dead from that? I amped it up all the way, Jammed. almost. So, we've reached the end of that room. That one's locked. Just they did that just to give you the feel for the place. Let's see if we can do something downstairs. What the hell is that? That's probably uh, the result of Kaisinger opening up on the arrows, and stuff comes through now. Through the window, so it appears. Ugh. Ugh. I'm gonna go there first. That appeared to be a load screen. Oh, it's that room again. With the mirror. Uh -uh. I don't know where I'm going. Oh. Won't budge. Well, of course, that one's budged. Uh, is it budged, jammed, or blocked? So, what do you want on your uh, on your sandwich? But budge, I jam, or block? Something. Oh. What? Oh, that's a nasty thing to do. That's like a really nasty thing to do, <laughs> setting people on fire. That's totally uncalled for. Uh, 
That's a huge detour. Is it? Re I'm going back to my room. I'm going back to Lisbeth's room, I think. You're not Wow, that was loud. That's stuck. The kid's room, the rumpus room or something. Hang in there. And I'm back. Okay, this is leads back to the uh the chapel. Which means we'll probably get attacked by Ghosty my ghosts. I will curse you? Well, at least it's not... It wasn't Ghosty McGhost. Will that trigger it again? Who dares to rifle through my belongings? Come on. Ow. Some bitch doesn't want to go down. It doesn't want to give chase either. Did he just... Yeah, I probably dropped that. I guess that's it. I think I've got everything. The game hasn't crashed so far. Let's not jinx it. Why was I just dropping to the floor there? Why not? I mean, might as well go all the way. What the hell? Ow! That's a female Tersanti. And they have, like, uh, force fields. No, you're shooting through the ball. Quickly, I can't think of a good pickup line. Ah! I would say that you are sweet like candy, but candy is bad for you, so... You're probably more like a rock four cheese, at least that's healthy. Ah, that was a terrible pickup line. Ow, ow, ow. I should have used. Yeah, I remember now. I should have used Dispel on uh, that. Uh, On that Lady Tersanti, uh, which might make my life a little easier. This is a weird piece of architecture. Is this part of the tower? Yeah, I'm gonna check this area first. Won't budge. Ah, yeah. uh, this is the murder, uh... This is where Cap Colonel Mustard, or Ambrose, not Mustard, killed, um, uh, what's the guy who said Mr. Black? Is that Mr. Black from, from Cluedo? With, with the cue, uh, the, 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 the pool cue in, in the, the pool room. Hang on. Damn you, father. You will not tell me what to do. That's Clive Barker's voice. Oh, my head. What are you doing? I'm trying to. What are you doing? You're beating on my... If you cannot see that, then you don't deserve to live. You should really get those vocal cords scraped or something, because that's not healthy. You could lose your, like, really damn... get throat cancer or something from that. 
an echo folks heard but not seen that the, that's the only way I can describe it and yet that isn't accurate either I heard Ambrose the family disgrace arguing with someone and the distinct crack of timber like a billiards cue oh it wasn't a pool cue it was a billiards cue you're, you're really that specific Patrick oh well of course you know what the servant said he was or, or the butler well the butler did it he was clearly striking someone and referring to the family curse whomever it was I don't he I don't think he need need worry about a curse anymore patricide the game oh there's another one of those dudes I'm gonna ready the spell just in case I run into one of those vixens again. But I won't try and use that stupid pickup line again. Like you're not, I don't really want to eat candy, but you're good like a ripened uh, rock for cheese. <sighs> that was a terrible pickup line. The only thing you're gonna get from that is the really strange looks and possibly mace to the face. also opens and that's the sun room possibly pointed at the south in the northern hemisphere a sun room is most likely uh, located to the south of the building so that it can soak up most of the sun during the day even during winter it won't budge okay that was completely pointless and for some reason they decided to decorate these walls every time with the same uh, St. George, I think, slaying a dragon. It even says St. George here, yeah. I wasn't just pulling that out of my ass this time. I don't even know if you actually need to do this. There's nothing here that is there worth something. And I'm back in the Hall of Great Paintings. I forgot the name of that. Pa I actually looked that up. It's basically, uh, I said basically again. Uh, it's essentially, the painting is after, it's like uh, a Jewish uh, queen, I think, who was, and there was a guy out there, a warlord, about to besiege her city. But she was like really like a, a really good looking uh, Jewish girl and he fancied her the warlord and he said like you know like if you uh, make sexy time with me I will be a bit nicer to your uh, city and then she don't cut his head off with the help of a bunch of people as he was like he was he was really not thinking straight because of the boner that he had for her deprived blood from his brain and then the the, the, the cute looking uh, Jewish uh, chick uh, is that chick size no, I think chick size for non-Jewish women yeah. uh. Yeah, we already saw that. See how quickly that goes. The previous fight that that nice late or unpleasant lady nearly killed me, but this time it wasn't that lucky. No was she? Stuck. And this way we would go all the way back to the kitchen. Stuck. And this is the library where the game crashed in the second or third upload. That must have been the second one. And we're back at the stair. The main entrance hall. If I have to go all the way back to the garden area where I meet Mortar Santi, that's probably going to be the case, isn't it? Oh, it's this room. Where we meet the maid and then we go back oh we can go back outside oh okay that's where there was a thunderstorm when I got here and big monster not Aaron was running there no not Ambrose oh you'll see I kind of ruined the surprise there now but whatever Stop. 
You really need to see a gate portcullis door specialist for this thing because every there's a serious stuck blocked stuck jam and uh oh oh damn it I nearly pulled the trigger on that poor man no, but he's nothing he has nothing to say oh he has something to say is there any way out to the standing storms aye there should be an old skiff by the water that would allow you to get out there. It's very dangerous to paddle around, though, so don't go exploring the coastline, or you'll find yourself wrecked on the many reefs. Here, let me unlock the gate for you. Are you the gatekeeper? <sighs> Is this optional? Because I could just... Ins I could have skipped this entire thing. Had I not... Had I not been so thorough in my investigation, I could have completely skipped this thing. That's something that... that Patrick should write down in his... Uh... Journal. And there's no exit here, and the, the door just locks. The guy locks the, just locks the door behind me. So it's like, eh, I trapped you good now, didn't I, Patrick? <laughs> but that gate apparently doesn't open. <laughs> I hope this is not a bug. Oh, load screen! It wasn't uh, hitting the load screen. I gotta save here. I don't, I'm beginning to think that this whole uh, excursion, because you have to go to the garden. I think beginning to think this, that this whole excursion is is. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come back here, because I am headed towards the pirates' cove, and I'm probably missing out on a bunch of secrets. This wasn't a detour. This is what's actually the main route to follow. Jammed. Okay, I'm gonna have to load again. Um. Uh, I'm gonna have to do that whole thing over again. I'm gonna go back to the gardens. Sorry about this. It's like it's been ages since I've played this, and no, that's not what I want to do. From gate, uh, I'll go to this location. I'm st I'm back in the kitchen. Won't budge, and I need to. I can't get back out. Yeah, this is where I get attacked by the poltergeist. Sorry about this. Ow, knife. There it is. I'm gonna go out. Ow. When we run into that servant, I'm gonna go outside, and there's gonna be a bunch of Tersanti out there, and I'm gonna kill those fools. And then I'm gonna follow the route again, but I might just cut that out. Yeah, no, wait. I'm probably gonna do that off screen because I took a bit of a detour, which I shouldn't have. There's two of them. Go upstairs. Right. I think if you go upstairs, you can go outside. You have to offer Peter Santi. There's an amplifier stone out there, but beyond that point, you have to go back the route that I just followed and, you know, go through the whole story mode again. Servants. Oh, dear. That's where the lady was crying. And this is where the useless, bu useless bullets are. Doing shit twice, the game. Wait a minute, that's the mirror I jumped into. What is this? Stuck. Oh. That's where the hidden ritual room was with... That's uh, Bethany's... Uh, Locked. No, the workroom. Dumbwaiter area. 
jammed. Ah. Do, darp a dur. Was there a door at the back of this area? That opened? Stuck. Maybe this one. Ah. No, I'm doing it wrong again. I have to go back. Otherwise, I'm going to go all the way back to the, the pirate. Straight to the... I have to go to the lighthouse first. But before I do that, I have to uh, dispose of those... Uh, Stuck. They're Santi. Dang. So, this is like the staging area. Like, it's fr It starts from here on. And those... Damn, kids are going to attack me again. There, that's the uh, the door to the outside. I've seen strange men prowling the grounds. I don't know where they're coming from. I don't know either. They're not really specific on their ethnical origin. Because there's an amplifier stone out here. You can he clearly hear it. Oh, that's a Tersanti right there. He just stood there eat, eating the bullets. Do, 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 do. What is this, like a silent movie where the speed is a bit cranked up to make it look funny? Oh, there you are. Always be prepared. Thank goodness they drop a lot of bullets. Yeah, this is... <laughs> this is the... Uh, you know, this is a loot area. And then you pretty much progress back down the... You progress back down the uh, the manor to uh, get some more exposition and find some more loot. But uh, I've been recording for well, I'll just go. Oh, he's. I think he's just. Stairs. Yeah, I'm gonna Jammed. do go progress a little further, and I'm gonna do the rest off screen or not, maybe in the next recording. You know, like thoroughly search the uh, rooms again to get as much uh, loot and, and goodies out of it as as I can. This is a dead end. Should have the dis no dispel readied because I'm gonna run into that Tersanti lady again. Oh, you scared me. I didn't think I'd run into anyone. I can't skip that. Yeah, I'm just gonna speed this up. It's kind of stupid that this this happens because uh, jammed. You have to put a lot more effort in, in 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 editing d when you take a detour like I did, and that is very time consuming. You can't just upload the thing; you have to cut stuff out, speed I it take up. It then. Oh, wait a minute, this is an area I skipped. 
This was like starting this thing over again was a good thing. Some things never change. Uh, one by one, my kin are dying. This pathetic excuse for a world is coming to an end. I write now only to pass the time, waiting for the authorities to cease their search for my body. Looking back, I smile at the voices in my head that always said to keep this pirate's cove a secret. Had I shared my hideout with my siblings, the police would have shackled me up a long time ago. Instead, I am the hot-tempered black sheep covenant who leapt to his debt to avoid capture. Only my childhood companion, Connor, knew of this lair, and he sadly didn't share my vision of things to come. Funny even though, watching the life pour from your... your pour from a friend's would trigger similarity. Funny even though, funny even I thought watching that was thought. Funny, I thought that was a smudge. Funny even I thought watching the life pour from a friend would trigger some remorse or compassion in me, but such is not the case, because you're a sociopath or a psychopath. This place, well, no, yeah, anyway, if you're a sociopath, you already know. Well, you kind of like think em emotions are for losers. Well, no, a psychopath usually thinks that emotions are for losers. And he manipulates them because he knows humans have emotions. He doesn't really empathize with them, but he knows how to manipulate them and become a politician. Uh, this place is more of a home to me than my father's manor ever was. Long before I took this cove as my own, generations of thieves and smugglers found sanctuary here, feeling their presence and guiding whispers. Feeling their presence and guiding whispers drove me to the, to unite with the Tersanti. Even the weakest sheep serve a purpose. Oh, the day oh, the day comes close. Ambrose Covenant. Eh. Poor leopard. <gasps> There's another diary. What the hell is this supposed to be? It's some sort of a weird love nest. Oh, <laughs> Damn, that song bitch stabbed me real good. I should have used the scythe on that bastard. May, 11 May 1914. My father gave me this diary for my 18th birthday, just as he did for my older siblings. He thinks by forcing us into the same pathetic ritual he undertook as a young man, we will magically, magically turn into responsible adults. Father is forcing me to use my journal. He watches now uh, across the library as I write. Self-reflection is the key to enlightenment, he says. A rotten tripe. I ever eaten t have you ever eaten tripe? Don't try it. Soon I take leave to my travel. Soon I take leave to travel Europe and the Middle East. So the Tresanti are from the Middle East. 14th April 1922. I have found my true brothers, the Tersanti. They are a barbaric race traveling the desert in search of battle. They neither fight for independence nor to subjugate. Oh, that's nice. They're just fighting for the sake of fighting. That's good. They fight because they hate. Oh, that's why they fight. Well, that's not really good. You should fight because you enjoy fighting. They have taught me how to use primitive but powerful weaponry. I return home soon bringing my knowledge and some my some of some souvenirs with me third may 1992 i need to know what father has been researching all these years the old man has been negligent of everything else i must know why this is uh, this is so well i must know why this is so i will sneak out to the island of standing stones to discover his secret i will need to be careful the groundskeeper our groundskeepers are loyal and will snitch on me if they have half of the chance. 4 May 19, 1922. I am sure I was spotted by one of my father's servants last night. I saw his lantern as I pulled the skiff from... Oh, it's a skiff, not a curl. Uh, from the dock. Well, technically a curl can be a skiff. Uh, the island was a fool's errand. Old rocks and some barbaric chiseling were all I... Were all. Uh, it would have been worthless if not for a twist of fortune. Not wanting to be seen, I risked the reefs and moored up the coast. There among the cliffs I discovered a mysterious cove. I am certain this is a hideout my ancestors used long ago. I am excited to return and explore those caves. This secret will no doubt 
prove valuable to me. Today, in the billiard room, Father confronted me about my late night excursion. I did not realize that a stick could be so do such damage as I watched his blood stain. His blood stained the floor, and he begged me for mercy. He kind of like begged you to stop, it, like it would, as if nothing was happening. <laughs> you know, normal instinct is to start yelling for you know other larger predators. To, like that's what you do. You start yelling. That's what animals yell at. Actually, is to attract larger other larger predators, in and so that you know they can. Well, the logic is a bit lost on that one. Uh, I told the servants that father's heart gave out and he hit his head while falling repeatedly onto the billiard table. My family is shocked. The funeral is tomorrow. Father always said, self-reflection is the key to enlightenment. Allow me to reflect on this day. How could I have, sh sh uh, have shaved my father? Well, maybe if he was incapacitated, you might want to do that. But How could I have saved my father from a slow, painful death? I could have hit him harder. That's nice. The constable is still look is looking for me. He is suspicious. This may be my last entry in this journal, for I will not be caught alive. Since father's death, all fear has left me. Although the life, I know, is coming to an end, I feel as if I am about to begin anew. Ambrose Covenant. AC. Daisy. Hey. Med kids? Well, I'm good on med kids. Well, at least he had the... I think this is like the the, the Japanese or the China, the Chinoiserie or the Japoneserie room. Although it eludes me why he has leopard skins on, on the floor because of that. Air physics. All right, so... Where do I go next? That's the bar with the Molotov cocktails, which don't really serve a purpose, which I already have. Yeah, I guess the uh, exposition on Ambrose's uh, tribulations. Oh, I did need them. Oh, yeah, I used them up in the greenhouse. He leads you to his his uh, den where he, uh, yeah. Oh, dear. I don't think I might speed up some of this stuff because I'm uh balls. I had to do this twice because I was stupid. I forgot to take a little I thought that oh this thing again. Hey buddy Buddy Not dead yet. Damn it, that was annoying. I'm here again. I used to be in the well, dodge. That is where the, you meet the servant that gives you the exposition. That's the stair room. I just had something. Okay, uh that happened. Two heads stuck to the wall. There's salty heads on the wall. Well. Hang on, I'm gonna ready my dispel, and I'm gonna take care of that, uh... Oh, did I just load again? Oh, damn it. Oh, oh crud. You scared me. I didn't think I'd run into anyone at this hour. Likewise. I can't so skip this! Me. Somebody what? save me! Ah! Ah! I hope I still I didn't overwrite that save game. Um Come on. Ah uh, uh, crap.
Tread. Sorry, I'm going to have to do this off screen again because, uh, yeah. There's no, there's no, uh, auto save anywhere. No. Yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to have to do that again, but off screen. Sorry about that. Yeah, that's all for now. See you soon. Until next time.